Hi, this is Dr. Antelak from TheGentleDentist.com, located out in Shelby Township, Michigan. Our phone number is 586-247-3500. Uh, implants are a big, big part of, uh, of dentistry now, um, as most of you have heard about implants. And what I wanted to do is just compare for the situations where we would use to hold a lower denture in place, the difference between a, a full-size implant, which I'm holding right here, a full-size implant here, all right, compared to what's called a mini implant, which is right here. Right? And we can also use a natural tooth like this in this model. You can see the root of the tooth here um, to actually hold these in. And the question becomes, how, well, how can we differentiate uh, what to use? I had a patient today come in who has um, issues with all of them, and so I came up with a solution. We're going to use one regular root of his natural tooth and place one full-size implant in to hold lower denture. But I want to start off with the natural teeth first of all. So the natural teeth are in bone like this and we can use an attachment um, to actually go inside of the root of the tooth. The tooth has a root canal in it so the, the tooth is dead itself but the tooth is contained within the jawbone itself. So we can place an attachment, this very very small little, this little the brass device here is used as a little clip and it will hold the denture in place like this okay and inside it there's the female of that where this is the male and the actual clip over the top of it um, and they'll be nice and stable for a denture to not move around um, in cases where there are not natural teeth available and there's adequate bone I will usually suggest doing what's called a full um, implant now this looks large the larger an implant is the, the stronger it is and the, the more durable it's going to be. Also with these types of implants we can place attachments like you see on the end of this root here, um, screw them right into the implant and then we have the ability to use a number of different um, attachments like you see inside of here that have different holding strengths. So, um, so this patient today came in and I'm recommending we do a one tooth he has which is working fine and placing a full implant like this, not this big but almost, and um, into the jawbone like you can see the teeth are, the implant sits there and then we can screw on one of these attachments on that to make this overdenture. Now for people who have uh, denture loss for quite some time and their bone is rather narrow we can use what's called a mini implant. A mini implant like this is less than three millimeters in diameter which is pretty small compared to a full-size implant like this which is basically over three millimeters. This is five millimeters in diameter and this is three millimeters in diameter so you can see the difference between the two of them. Um, but if that's the case then what we'll do is we'll place these implants inside the jawbone, four of them usually, in the lower front area here and then we will use a similar device to snap the lower denture in place um, all these really work. It just depends on the patient's scenario and what the patient has to offer. If they have adequate bone, I'm almost, almost always going to recommend that we do a full-size implant because they're very versatile. We can change those parts out, whereas in mini, like a mini implant like this, it's all one solid piece. You can't change any pieces out. Another benefit of a full-size uh, implant like this is that in case, let's say, somebody gets tired of wearing a denture, um, we can then go through and, and change the top of that and put a crown on top of that. Or we can put a number of different teeth and make one that is not removable. So we have a lot more flexibility with a full size implant compared to the mini implant. But these are just some considerations to make for if you have, a, like I say, if you have a situation where you're contemplating, gee, do I do a full size implant? Do I do a mini implant? It can be rather confusing. So it really depends on the case. Once again, if you have enough bone in your mouth and there might be the chance that um, you're going to go from something removable like a denture like this to doing something that's actually cemented in place and fastened down so you don't have to take it out, then I would suggest using a full implant. If you're um, medically compromised, you have some medical issues going on and you have very thin bone, um, then an implant like this, a mini implant works out very well in those cases um, to hold a lower denture in that you've never had the ability to snap it in place and hold it in. And then for our patients who have, let's say, broken down teeth, 
um, that are savable as far as doing root canals in them. Many times we'll just remove the nerve on the inside, we fill it with the rubber material, then we place these attachments inside of it, and then we can make a denture like this. So you have to have lots of tools in your tool belt to be able to know what's best for you. So if you do want our, my professional advice, um, with over 25 years of experience and over the last 10 years replacing my own implants, uh, please give us a call at 586-247-3500.